Hello, I'm Guy Mann and this is Britain Today, pulling fact from the deftly grips of fiction. This just in, we've had several reports that tornadoes from the east coast of America have reached Liverpool. The extreme weather is set to cause chaos on the streets. We go now live to our field reporter, Jack Daniels. What's the story, JD? Well, Guy, I'm here in the field, live. No sign of tornadoes yet. Wait. No, still nothing. For now, this reporter will hold tight and see if the wind breaks. Over to you, Guy. Thanks, Jack. More on that story as it develops. Still to come on today's show, we speak to the Cornish terrorist group, the URA. A wave of Islamic Ebola-carrying super spiders are imminent and a report live from the big national in Aintree with Buddy Mate. This is Britain Today, Super News. Terror child, murderer, cannibal, video gamer. Nine-year-old Harry Langswanger was brought into the police custody today for attacking fellow pupils with a compass and taking a bite out of a dinner lady's arm. Here is this shocking report. It was here, in this sleepy suburb, where horror unfurled. Harry Langswang, known video gamer, quite simply snapped, attacking fellow classmates and in an act that can only be described as cannibalism, literally tore a sizeable chunk of flesh from the flabby bingo wing of a dinner lady. We talked to the school's headmaster to find out more. No, he's a nasty little boy, just nasty. I spent many a late afternoon in detention with that little horror. I've seen that look in his eye, crying out for a proper spanking, I say, and I'd give it to him. Yes. We travelled to the house of the demon child in Kensington, Liverpool. Inside we found traces of narcotic use. The house was clearly neglected. It appears that the omen, Langswanger, alleged drug abuser and psychopath, refused to do the washing up. There was no trace of the terror spawn's parents, but in a shocking development, Britain Today can confirm that Langswanger played terrible violent video games. Those among the disgusting games we found, Call to Duty, Modern Warfare, World to War, The Battlefield, Kill Zones and Connect Sports Adventures. It's clear that Langswanger had a sickening obsession with war and death. Harry Langswanger waits in custody until further notice. His acts paint a clear and frightening picture of the new generation. Vile, unwilling to do homework and deadly. Surely now the government must act on Britain Today's calls to bring back national service. Truly shocking. Joining us now is video games journalist Philip Phillips. How do you uh, respond to that report then, Philip? Well, I do honestly believe that the connections that you're making between violence and video games are, are rather tenuous indeed. <laughs> Rubbish! Video games destroy lives. They're corrupting the minds of our children with scenes of sexual nature and violence. And you know what? They're worse than films because these games are inviting the children to take part in the violence. Well, I don't think that's entirely accurate, Guy. Well, it is. It was on the Alan Titchmarsh show and that's gospel. Look, I don't know how you can sit there and defend this trash to me when people like Langswanger are going on killing sprees. Well, well, it begs the question of where he got this mature content from. Well, he got it from the bloody shop, obviously. No, but these games are 18 rated. He's a nine-year-old child. His parents would have bought it for him, so... Oh, blame, blame the parents. I bet you still live with yours. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see that. That's entirely relevant, to be honest. Don't dodge the question. Do you still live with your parents? Well... Yeah. Disgraceful. Now get off my show. Go on, get off my show. Get off this show now. Go back to your one bedroom flat and your pot noodle. You hippie. <laughs> Big National kicks off this weekend. Here's Buddy Mate with this exclusive report live from Aintree. Hi, Guy. I'm outside the centre of British horse racing here at Aintree. And although they won't let me in, I can already feel a palpable sense of excitement. Oh, yes. This race is set to be tight. Very tight indeed. And now the odds just in from William Wilkins. And up first, we've got Sarah Jessica Parker. Great horse, a solid favourite, but has been in bad form of late. Can this lucky mare take away a surprise victory? Wet Lettuce has done great things in the past, but is the running a little bit too dry lately, Guy? He's in at 9 to 1. And of course, in at 25 to 1, we've got Free Scotland. Wouldn't put my money on that dark horse, I can tell you. And the favourite in at three to one, it's the Chinese Finger, ridden by superstar jockey Cat Monday. Great horse, great legs, and an arse like Nicki Minaj, so I'm told, Guy. But this is horse racing, and as we know, the odds mean bugger all. 
So more from me as this exciting event heats up. Back to you, Guy. Still to come on today's show, Putin's combat trained super dolphin sighted off the coast of Wales. David Cameron explains why he's so red. And doldossers of the world unite and take over. First, here's the weather with Carl Fisher. Winter's come early this year, Guy, and look how dark it is. So tonight's weather, we have scattered showers in the south, a type that threaten to unload on you, but never quite get there. In and out in a few minutes. A dark cloud over Scotland, looks set to stay there for a while. Oh, there's a storm brewing in the north tonight, ladies, but don't get too excited. It may seem fierce, and it will certainly make you wet, but ultimately it will leave you cold, and wanting. So the weather for this week, disappointing. Back to you in the studio, guy man. Cornwall, who cares? Not me. Well, a few deluded possible paedophiles do. They believe that Cornwall should be an independent nation. Britain Today speaks to Enyun Rockstick, head of the URA, a terrorist splinter of the Cornish National Liberation Army. Enyun, please tell us, what the hell are you on about? Well, basically, mate, we think it would be handsome to kick all the emirates out of our glorious nation. We're not bloody English, we're Cornish. We want that to be respected. Are you serious? Without Britain, you'd be nothing. To the country, guy, me old mate. We here in Cornwall, we're the world's number one producer of pasties, we've got plenty of farms, and we got our very own cider. <sighs> we don't need much from your sinking ship of a country, innit? Oh really? And how do you expect to achieve this farcical independence? Well, first of all, we need to destroy all the English businesses. We're starting with Jamie Oliver. That's right, Oliver, you fat tongue tosser. We're coming for you. Get your bleeding restaurants out of our bloody land or we'll destroy you. Secondly, we need to cut all exports to the rest of the UK. We've currently got the Penzance branch of Greg's under siege. No more of that faking his pasties in our land. Wait, you have a Greg's under siege? That's bloody right, guy. This is ludicrous. How many of you are there? Well, there's a fair few of us now, Guy. My mother, her lover, his brother, and my lover. You're pathetic. Right, you're on the list now, too. What? You heard. We're coming for you, Guy Man of Britain, today. OK, I think we've heard enough. This interview, it's over. Goodbye. Don't you bloody switch me off. The Cornish are rising, you hear me? We will have our day. Coming up, Cambodia. Coming down. The Big National's about to kick off. Buddy, mate, what's the story? And they're off. Crikey, what a start. Fork sword there, getting right inside Jared Jessica Parker. He's right up there with the Chinese finger. Free Scotland bringing up the rear. No, oh, I hope in hell. Premature moment taking the lead. Will he be the first to finish? And wait. We're a horse down. We're a horse down. Where is Madeleine McCann? Madeleine McCann is missing! Oh my, what a race we're seeing here today! Wet lettuce slipping away from the group. It's between Sarah Jessica Parker and Pork Sword right now. The other's just falling away. Sarah Jessica Parker! Sarah Jessica Parker! Oh, and Pork Sword takes the win! Riveting! Just riveting stuff! Oh god! Sweet Jesus, I need to sit down. Back to you, Guy. Thanks, buddy. Now back to Jack Daniels with more on the developing tornado situation. Fuck the police! Fuck the police! Jack, where the hell are you? Some of the local students invited me over to a rad party, Guy. She wants it, Guy. What about the tornado? Very few developments on that front, Guy. Bloody useless, Jack. We sent you out there to cover this tornado story and now you're some ridiculous party. What have you got to say for yourself? Sorry. So you bloody well should be. This is a serious public service. It's not Channel 5. Thank you. Well, he's gone. Whoa! Party! 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 Jack Daniels there. Thanks for watching Britain Today, tonight. That's all, folks. Good night. Cold.